Right, that's better. Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a while now since I last did anything about MBTI and any blogs about um, stuff to do with that. Um, but something's come up with me recently, something's come to my attention recently, which is that a lot of people kind of uh, start to attack MBTI as if it isn't relevant. Um, and there are several reasons why they do that. But the problem is, it's not so much that I'm defending MBTI, but it's the fact that um, they come up with very kind of ill-conceived reasons and ill-considered reasons as to why MBTI is invalid when actually it, they haven't even really understood the theory in the first place. So this little blog is to do with how MBTI is basically not a duality, which is a lot, of, which is a lot of what I hear when people tend to be um, tend to attack it. So basically, I've come up with these few different ideas, and I'll just run through them how they how how it, how MBTI works, and why it's confusing on the surface, and also why people think it's a duality on the surface. So when you first take an MBTI test, you have four letters. So say for example I'm ENFJ, so uh, I'm extroverted, um, intuitive, feeling and judging. And those are the four different preferences which I have for my personality type according to MBTI theory. Now the reason it's confusing is because it says it's extroverted and not introverted, it's intuitive and not sensing, it's feeling and not thinking, and it's judging and not perceiving. But in reality it just doesn't work that way. Um, it doesn't work in that way and I'll explain why. So um, right just to go straight for the you know the obvious thing is that with an ENFJ it's not that we are extrovert intuitive feeling and judging and that's it okay an ENFJ has extroverted feeling, introverted intuition, extroverted sensing and introverted thinking. So immediately as I say that you can hear that half of the uh, functions are introverted functions Okay, so it takes it takes an, an ENFJ. Uh, t um, it means that when we are introverted, when we're not communicating with other people, we use our introverted functions. Whereas when we're with people, we use our extroverted functions, and we pre we we actually um, prefer to be extroverted, which is why our first function is an extroverted function. Okay, so but also the other thing you can hear about that is that extroverted feeling, introverted intuition, extroverted sensing and introverted thinking means that we all feel, think, sense and intuit. Okay, there's no personality type in MBTI that doesn't do these four things. So basically there's no such thing um, as a feeler who just feels um, and who makes their decisions only based on their feelings. This just isn't the case, otherwise we wouldn't have four functions. Um, we use all of our functions hopefully and if we're not using all of them then it may be that you're not a particularly well-rounded um, person so it's better to be able to use all four functions because we are whole people rather than just feeling or just intuitive or just sensing or just thinking um, and the same thing counts for for people who are known as you know the people who are thinkers who prefer thinking over feeling um, just because a thinker prefers thinking over feeling doesn't mean they don't have feelings. Um, it is just a preference. We prefer things in a certain order. So the last duality that there is which needs to be talked about and tackled is the judging over perceiving uh, duality. But what's really interesting is that all feeling and thinking function functions are judging functions and all sensing and intuiting functions are perceiving functions. So with an ENFJ, because we have extroverted feeling first, that's a judging function, okay? So our first function is a judging function. Our second is a perceiving function, which is NI. Our third function, which is SE, is perceiving. And our fourth function, our last function is TI, which is a judging function. So we all have perceiving and judging functions. We don't just judge. You know, we had this ridiculous conversation recently about people who are uh, who have J at the end of their um, you know preference you know ENFJ 
the J means that they judge or that we're judgmental and of course this isn't the case especially when you obviously consider the fact that um, even though our first function is a judging function um, so is any thinker any person that has um, who comes out with their first function being um, a thinking function are also starting with a with a with a with a judging function first. I mean, obviously we have the overall preference of J or P, which makes it a bit different. But basically, um, which is really funny because of course INFP, uh, just to use one that I know well and that is also in alignment with. Um, ENFJ in that they have the opposite functions but in the same order start with FI which is also a judging function FI is a judging function NE is a perceiving function SI is a perceiving function and extroverted thinking which is their last function is a judging function so they also judge perceive perceive judge like an ENFJ so and then of course we have ENFPs who um, have extroverted uh, intuition which is a perceiving function so they perceive, judge, judge and perceive because they have N E F I T E S I and an INFJ does the same thing. They perceive, judge, judge and perceive because they have N I T F E T I and S E. So we all perceive, we all judge, we all think and we all feel, we all sense and we all intuit, but these are done in terms of preferences. So it's not that you know, if you have people out there that say, for example, well, I test so high on intuition that I feel like I can't sense. Then there's something wrong there. Um, it's not that it's a. It's not that it, I'm saying that it's a bad thing that people feel that they may not be able to sense. But it's not in the, the MBTI framework to say you cannot sense because you're intuitive, or you cannot feel because you're a thinker. The other thing that and that that kind of rubs me up the wrong way is that. Um, we have people who are either feelers who are so incredibly sensitive that if you talk to them about any issue they fall apart and get very upset because they're a feeler and they can't take people thinking about things and we have the same problem with thinkers who prefer thinking who say well I don't have feelings and they're very proud of it so they get away with being belligerent and tro trollish and go around attacking people because they're a thinker so they don't have uh, feelings which of course is completely untrue um, so it's quite funny because of course seeing as we can all do all four things we really ought to be trying to be whole people and doing all four of the you know all four of these preferences and the judging and perceiving thing you know we all ought to be able to understand how other people feel even if you're a thinker or you prefer thinking and you ought to be able to understand how to think I mean, it would be incredibly insulting to say to any feeler that they can't think because they prefer feelings over thinking. Well, of course, all it is is that they prefer they prefer to put a certain um, they prefer to put a certain preference above another. So they prefer to feel over think or prefer to sense over intuit, etc. So anyway, um, that's my little video to do with that particular thing. Um, I'm not sure what my next blog will be about. I was going to do one about um, INFP and INFJ relationships because someone was talking about that as well, but um, that's kind of gone by the by, but I may do that later if there's enough people that's interested in it. But let me know what you think about this video um, and see whether or not you agree with it and let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you. Bye.